Get this man and Miss Rokoff out of here quickly. Whoever it is who set that explosion will expect we were all killed. This lowly houseboy suggests we take these two speechless persons to jail. No. It's evident that they act involuntarily. We must get Miss Rokoff to a hospital so we can get the rest of her confession. Yes. Take care of him. We're going to take you away from here, Miss Rokoff. What? She's absolutely speechless. Yes, why don't you try it sometime? <laughs> lasted long enough. You will wake. Wake. Sorry, Miss Andrews. This woman is completely under the control of the person who hypnotized her. Unless you can produce that person, she will remain in this condition. You mean that no one else can bring her out of this trance? Only a specialist in psychiatry. I suggest uh, Dr. Zander of San Francisco. We'll have to take Miss Rokoff to San Francisco. I suggest you remain here to help your brother. How would you travel in case I wish to get in touch with you? We'll take cars and travel by the inland route. That seems the safest plan. All right, Doctor. We'll take Miss Rokoff to this man, Zander. Now, what about the other patient, Grogan? Grogan's case is different. I intend to make another examination of him an hour. And you can be present if you wish. I don't need your help. You stay here. my brother learn anything? A great deal has been discovered, but not the name of a man who attacked the Chinese merchant. May I have it, sir? 
No, thank you. I am just shoving it out. If I should like something, I'll call you. Oh, certainly. They have taken Sonia and Grogan to the Shepherd Hospital. Mr. Andrews and Miss Whiting will drive to the city by the inland route. Why do they drive when equal speed and greater comfort could be had by train? Mr. Andrews believes our enemies will watch railways, steamships, and airports. He hopes to take Sonia safely to San Francisco. I shall remain here to protect you and further investigate the matter. Let me talk to him, Doctor. On the clarion, we're trained to get a story out of a lamp post. Stay out of it, John. Listen, Grogan. We want your story. Give us the name of the man behind all these attacks on the Chinese merchants. put you up to all this crooked stuff, and my paper will see that you get a break. left with Mr. Andrews about a quarter of an hour ago. Oh. And the other patient, Grogan? Mr. Grogan became violent, and we have been obliged to restrain him with a straitjacket. Too bad. I would like to see Mr. Grogan. Sorry, it's quite impossible. The doctor's orders were... You will kindly forget your doctor's orders. And listen to me. Take me to Grogan. You have no hatred for anyone. 
only to obey. Obey. Nurse, remove his harness. All right, Grogan. You're going with me. Put on your coat. You'll remain in this room for five minutes after we are gone, do you understand? No harm will come to you. Come along, Robin. Teddy, we haven't got a chance. Either the law gets us or Potan. Well, he don't get me. I'll take just so much from Potan and then... Don't let me interrupt. You were about to say... Grogan must have missed that pineapple, Chief. It went through the window Never and... mind, I know what happened. I've got Grogan down in the car. And the others? Sonia? They're driving her up to San Francisco on the inland route. If they should succeed, Getting her out of her trance. What are you going to do? Do. Stop them. They have only half an hour start. Come with me. Looking back, you give me the creeps. How could anyone know where we are? This man we're up against has an uncanny way of finding things out. The more miles we put between us and Los Angeles, the better I'll feel. <laughs> Do you think he's a mind reader? He'd draw a blank if he tackled you. What have I done? Oh, skip it. Hey, hey, fool! Get out. Get out? Say, if you think I'm going to change that tire... You're sitting on the stool. Oh, excuse me. Take the other car. 